Oh wow, this is really cool. Whoa. Dude, this is a legit mask. Whoa, who makes, or oh, it's German. Germans, see Germans. I'm gonna have to destroy this to give it a proper test here. I'm so glad, uh, Vasali, that you, that you, you uh, gave me multiple ones of these because I, I have to break it to do a proper test, which is very common, by the way. Okay, that's good. All right, we can put this guy on. And we will let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are doing the N95 test on this FFP2, which is a European standard, roughly equivalent to N95, so I'm told. Um, basically, we're shooting a lot of particulates through here, and we will read out what the efficiency is when all is said and done, and we'll see if it passes. Um, this is the Drager mask, or Drega. Drega. So first of all, like you feel this thing in your hand and it's like, this is substantial, like it's a nice mask. It's got this interesting thing that kind of moves around so you can adjust it better. And then it's plastic, like hard plastic that is either glued or well, it's welded on, which is crazy. And this foam is a lot like 3M's foam. And here's what I like about what they did. First of all, it tells you right there, FFP2. This is, I'm gonna try to cover the result. So you know right away what type of mask is when you're putting it on, it's huge. But then you've got all of the data right there. So you've got Germany, Drager, name of the company, all of the certifications, FFP2, medium large, oh, medium large, all right there on the mask. That is so nice. And uh, much like an N95, it's a head strap. So I'm actually wondering if I can, oh yeah, it's so easy to get on because it's one continuous uh, strap. Dude, this is the most unique mask that I've seen. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so what's so cool about this is you can adjust this now. So if you're like, I want to go up or down, because it's one continuous piece, it allows you to adjust it. This the surface area of this thing is so much bigger than any other similarly styled mask that I put on. I mean, dude, it is covering so much. This covers way more than like any 3M Aura or V-Flex. This is probably the best mask I've ever put on from a manufacturing complexity, seal and comfort standpoint. Whatever this nose wire is, is totally insane. It's crazy and I could adjust it very easily. It's very comfortable to wear. Uh, and I look like, you know, I'm one of the guys coming in after ET, you know, like with the, so there's that as well. Um, the little things, all right. But does that matter? Dude, this thing is so comfortable. Does that matter if it doesn't protect you? Let's see what it says here. 99.71, oh, but the pressure drop was not very good. I'm telling you though, so this pressure drop, can you go over to the other? So we've got 204.3 on this and then move over to the, this thing. So this is the area I'm testing, right? But look at this. I'm getting all of this breathable space. So it goes back to kind of what, uh, uh, what was it Paulo was saying in the chat? I really, to get an accurate measurement of that differential pressure, I need to be testing this entire space because this is one of the most comfortable masks I've ever worn. Even though, uh, if we go, go back on this, we're only getting 204.3 Pascals. So I don't think that's a fair assessment, although that does pass the N95 standard at least. It's a, a totally, like an absolutely incredible, incredibly manufactured mask. Oh, the smell, I didn't do the smell. Well, that smells like salt particles. Let's do this one. I'm gonna say this smells like a German library. Yeah, it's like a book, booky smell, but like maybe a little bit musty. All right, great mask. Wow, Drager FFP2.